Welcome back, Pioneer fans. Brent Cook here, and today we are playing my favorite Pioneer deck, Lotus Combo, featuring Wish. I've been playing Wish in this deck for about a month, and I've loved it. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I think I like this build more than the Emergent Ultimatum builds. That said, the Emergent builds, people play those. Nobody else is playing Wish-based versions at the moment, and I think they're sleeping on it. So why Wish, right? Well, Wish is actually really good because you get to play an extra Lotus Field in your board, so that way you have more avenues to finding Lotus Field consistently. And on top of that, you get to beat weird quirky cards like Slaughter Games out of Niv Delight, or uh, I believe it's called Memoricide out of the Mono Black deck, where they name Lotus Field to remove all your uh, Lotus Fields from the game. You can still wish for Field, um, Thought Distortion, those sort of things. Um, not Thought Distortion. I don't know. Uh, the one blue and a black one, I can't think of the name right now. But it, it beats all those effects, and I've really, really liked Wish. But on top of that, it's cheaper than Fey of Wishes by costing three. Uh, like, uh, granted, it is also reduced by Brawl, but if you play turn two Brawl into Wish, you can get Lotus Field on turn three, which is just really, really nice, and it ups your consistency. But the biggest thing about Wish, in my opinion, and why we're playing the list we are today, is you can cast creatures off it. So... I've been thinking about the last video quite a bit, and in that video, I was running Aetherflux Reservoir as my win condition, and it was a little bit awkward against the red deck when they had Roiling Vortex in play because I couldn't gain life and, you know, can't win the game. So, just thinking about how we could possibly, uh, you know, play a better win condition, because part of my problem with Approach is 14 mana is a lot to win the game, and you have to cast spells in between. So I was like, why aren't we just running Thassa's Oracle, right? Like, it just makes so much sense. It's super mana efficient. It's easy. The problem is that you have to draw literally your entire deck every single game. Well, how do we do that? Wish into Peer in the Abyss is, you know, 10 mana. It's 8 mana if you have a Brawl in play, and that's not too bad. That's going to get you there. But what if you don't have Peer into the Abyss as an option? What if you're really low on life? Like, what if you're just at 1? How do you win? And I was thinking about that, and I think Niv Mizzet is honestly a really good answer. It's good against the metagame right now, uh, at least in my opinion. There's a lot of spirits out there, and it's just like great incremental card advantage as well. It's a back of Wing Edition on top of drawing your entire deck for Oracle. So it just makes a lot of sense to me. When you're running Oracle as your Wing Condition, you're no longer allowed to run Fae of Wishes slash Granted, because Granted can't get Oracle. So if you don't want to run the main deck Niv Mizzet, you could run Mastermind's Acquisition, but I think Niv Mizzet's probably just the better choice because it's going to be able to draw your entire deck fairly easy. So I know that this is a lot of information. Process it. You don't have to agree with me. But I think Thassa's Oracle is probably just the cleanest win condition we can be running. That's what we ran back in the Breach days. Why aren't we playing it again now that we have Wish? It just makes perfect sense. So in this video, we're trying Oracle. But we're also trying a brand new card from Innistrad Midnight Hunt, Consider. We're running Consider over Strategic Planning. It gives the deck more one drops, which is something it's always needed. It's always been very clogged at two. So now we have Consider. Uh, so you can turn one Consider, turn two Scrying, all that good stuff. Uh, and you just have another turn one play other than Grazer. So uh, I've liked it so far. I've played this list once and it was very good. But Consider really, really impressed me. That said, we had to adjust our mana base a little bit to help support Consider. We're playing two copies of Spire Bluff Canal over the two over two copies of Catcher Your Triumph because we need more untapped blue sources to fully maximize Consider. That's the big thing. If you run four Catcher Your Triumph, it's just a lot of tap lands, and you can get bit. With this, we have 10 untapped blue sources, and I think that's probably fine. If you need to play a tapped Catcher Your Triumph, that's fine too. You can always cast consider on turn two, but that's the big idea. Uh, other than that, the main deck is what I ran in my last video. So consider is really the big upgrade here. And then in the board, so I am running two copies of Wilt. And part of the reason why is you can cast it off all of your lands on like a braid. So you're less weak to effects like Damping Sphere. But it also hits uh, the new red enchantment that's just Idle Honor the Great Rebel after the first spell. It hits that. And I was running into this problem with Void Snare. And that's if you cast Wish, you have to play this same spell uh, that turn. So if you wish for Void Snare, they have a full turn to just untap and do their thing. So I don't really like Void Snare in the Wish builds anymore. So I am running Wilt and 
Trolls just removal like Fry uh, and Anger of the Gods, that sort of thing. So I don't think bounce spells make a whole lot of sense, and that's why we have that change. If you have any other questions about the deck, feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer those in the comment section down below. But even if you don't have questions, leave a comment. Help us get into that YouTube algorithm. Show more people Pioneer Lotus Combo. It'd be great of you to do, so why not do that? And, you know, subscribe. We are trying to hit some goals here, so subscribe. Help us get to our yearly goal. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you're looking to go to the next step, we offer memberships. That button is right next to the subscribe button. It says join. You can unlock cyborg guides, donation decks, badges, you know, uh, emojis, a ton of things in there. So definitely check that out. And then we have, hold on, I didn't actually open this up before I started recording. Donation decks at the Epic Storm. So if you want to see your combo deck featured here on this channel, go to theepicstorm.com slash donation decks. We also have card singles over at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Can't talk right now. And is sweet, sweet storm merchandise. So definitely go look at that, including mana and storm counters. Not going to show those. I just want to get in round one and maybe learn how to talk by then. But I will see you there. Don't go anywhere. We are going to wish our opponents luck because they're going to need it. Oh, yeah. In round number one. Hey, welcome to round number one. I have fixed our format and record. Uh, I didn't do that in the intro. It's now fixed. We're on the draw and we have turn one grazer. We have wish, which can give us access to Lotus Field. We just have to find a red source. This hand seems fine. What are you playing, opponent? Triumph. So maybe some sort of like Niv Delight deck. Razor into Blast Zone. Next turn, we can consider looking for a land. Okay. Everything other than blue at the moment. Hey, there's a red source. Love it. And now we don't need to consider main phase. Goodbye, uh, Grazer. You've done well. Very proud of you. You accelerated a land into play and ate a removal spell for Brawl. You are the realist. Overgrown Tomb Tomb. Okay. So we don't know if they're five color yet. They could just be like Gund or something. Not quite sure. Yes, I would like to put that to my group. Dig. Dig's not the worst draw, uh, because next turn we should be able to dig through time looking for stage. So we're going to cast Wish, which is uh, card number four. Wow. And we just hit the Lotus Field. So I don't even need a Wish for the Cyborg one anymore. Um, so I think we can just cast Dig here. So let's play Lotus Field. Sacrifice these two. It's five cards and then we dig. Okay, looking for stage. Boom! All right. Uh, and then I think we take the hit and start. Just trying to accelerate into Peter. So the way that it works is next turn, due to having Blast Zone in play, we can copy Lotus Field and then double strings, which brings us up to four and then eight. So it's not enough to win the game at the moment. A pour of the pages represents mana number nine. Okay, so they are five color. I think I might be going for it on our turn on it. Brawl. That's mana number 10. That's actually really good. So let's copy the Lotus Field. So hidden strings. So this is six mana, and then this hidden strings is four mana. So we have ten mana. Actually, I think we just have it. That's ten mana. Uh, pour is eleven, and then pour is twelve. We should have it. Ooh, we have Niv now. So I think I want to get rid of one of these wishes. So if I play Niv here, eight mana. 
it's 11 minutes. That's enough to nib in the pour. Yeah, Niv miss it. Boom! Niv too strong. Out of the gate, Niv already showing its value in the main deck. Love it. Okay, so probably not a Grazer matchup. We can get rid of those. Bring in these disputes. Maybe these fries. Uh, I don't know if we're actually going to need the fries, but they can't hurt. Um, I think we probably want to leave that Niv there. We do like one fry, one wilt, and play around like a damping sphere or something. Will also cycles. So in case these are dead, I can at least cycle one of them and I don't accidentally get stuck with both. Let's try this out. Perfect. I think we want to draw something like Mystical Dispute. A little bit worried about uh why can't i think of the name of it it's thought something i just like can't remember the full name of the card right now probably should have looked it up in between rounds not thought distortion because that's what i play it's the six mana black card that can't be thought something I'm probably going to get a bunch of comments that are like obviously it's this i, I don't know how you don't know that card you constantly lose to Trying was good. See if it resolves, though. That was a nice F6. Okay. Uh oh. I can, in theory, accelerate them into something I don't want to see. We have a turn four right now, but that depends on if we're here undisrupted or not. A little bit about three again. okay i'm not really sure what our like this looks like niv delight but i'm not actually positive part of me wonders if i should just like play out brawl right now and force them to do it Don't you dare touch my homie Baral. Five mana. Nahiri pluses, which means that next turn they can use the ultimate on Nahiri to go get Emrakul or some other card. I don't know what they get in this deck. Probably just like your whole thing. Looks like a Bring to Light. Yep. What are you getting for is it Niv? Is it Slaughter Games? Is there a removal spell for Brawl? It is Slaughter. <sighs> Please don't need. Or were the pages? I don't even have that card. Don't even have it. Now you're dead. You are dead, opponent. You're going to Dead Town. Population U. And we have just so one of the secretly nice things about this is that we're going to be able to use the hidden mode on hidden string which is to put oh apparently i hit no instead of yes my bad well this one can do it so it doesn't really matter i have two tries at not messing this up okay and now we put it on brawl all right so attempt number two successful. Let's cycle this vizier. Draw. What am I gonna do with this second copy of Brawl? Cast Wish. Now we peer. Draw a whole bunch of cards. And our opponent's had it. All right, that's match number one. Pretty sweet stuff. Didn't really actually get to use the Oracle. Sorry about that, but hopefully you'll see it in an upcoming match. Stick around, enjoy yourself, and let's uh, assimilate, wait, uh, <laughs> assemble Tron together, double Lotus Field. I don't know.
I'm just talking. I'm tired. I'll see you in match number two. All right, round number two. We are on the play. Sorry about me being so wonky tonight. Uh, it's actually 9 p.m. today, and I've already played a bunch of Magic. Uh, I actually took second in a 2K today for Legacy. Uh, so I am fairly tired. So if I play poorly, I apologize for just, like, word jumble. That's probably why. Just giving you a warning. But we've opened up a hand that has uh, Lotus Field on turn three with Sylvan Scrying. We're going to try this out. Phantom go. Okay, so that is a land that doesn't stop me from. Well, let's keep the connection. Lotus Field. Not really sure what our opponent's going to do. Like, if I had to guess, it's some sort of gruel mid range, but you never know. Tapped. Okay. Another elf. Elves for life, apparently. Ooh, that was a good one. So now we can go get stage. I'm liking how this game is shaping up. I've actually never seen that land before, but I'm familiar with this. Okay, that's a questing beat. But that doesn't stop me from winning the game next. Brawl is a very good pickup. Alright, we just have to be able to untap now from four. So in theory, you could like play Brawl off Lotus Field floating a blue, cast hidden strings, untapping Lotus Field and um the stage and then copy but i don't feel like that's a good use of resources when you can just copy and play brawl all right so that's nine damage roll mid-range was a very good guess from me and now we're going to do the thing where we get our opponent all right let's play the string now let's cast four and the nice thing about poor when you have a brawl in play is that it actually makes two mana. Get rid of this extra brawl. Actually, I have so much mana at the moment. Let's remove a land from the deck. Let's go get a cycle land in case we need it. Cycle this. Like, mana is not going to be our choke point. It's going to be uh, fizzling, so let's just not fizzle, right? Okay, dig. Take the Vizier and the Balagad. So a secretly nice thing about Balagad recovery in this deck, I guess I have some mana floating, I should just um is that it's when you have a brawl in play, it's a break even with poor. So poor usually makes two mana, Balagad costs two mana, but you just end up plus cards in hand the life. Let's get back that. Cast four of the pages. Great gas we're hitting. All the untap effect. Um break through time. There's old Niv and four of the pages. It's gonna be super easy now. Red, blue, Niv is it? 34 cards. Love it. Winning with Niv is just so much fun. Okay, and Poor is just like a shotgun when you have Niv in play. So it's going to draw four, deal four, and untap your land. Honestly, what you need to be concerned about is just decking. Like, sometimes if you don't pay attention with Niv in play, you can actually deck and that can be a problem. Here. I accidentally ciphered, but that's fine. Red hidden string. Now we can four. So many manas. So little time. Red lane. Four of the pages. Just casually drawing our entire deck. And why not? Let's kill our opponent with Consider. 
We are so considerate, some might say. Wah. All right. One game number one over rural aggro. Um, I could board in anger. I don't know if I want to. Wilt's probably not a bad idea if I'm being like. I don't know if that deck has camping sphere, but it's definitely the style of deck that would in my. I'm just not sure if anger is actually worth it. Like their payoffs were large creatures. So like the only way anger is good is if you hit like a bunch of their mana dorks. I'm just gonna leave the bolt on the board. I'm not gonna say her deck's perfect. Let's just do our thing well. Okay, so this hand's like a little bit awkward, but ultimately fine in my opinion. And the reason it's a little bit awkward is you can't play turn one grazer in a, in a meaningful way. So our opponent's going to four. They definitely have a damping spider deck. <laughs> um, so the way that Balaged Recovery slash Balaged Sanctuary works is you cannot put it into play off grazer. It doesn't recognize it as a land. So if you play Grazer turn one off Botanical Sanctum, you're forced to put in Lotus Field. Well, not forced, but the only land you can put into play is Lotus Field. It's just, just not a good time for you. So instead, what we want to do is play turn one Balagad Sanctuary, turn two Sanctum in the field. And our opponent is kept full. Round. Two cards in hand. Does one of them ruin my day? That is a love struck beat. Oh, hey, Niv, what's up? Get rid of these. I think my next turn is pro like, assuming I don't draw anything too good, is going to be playing this as a land, playing Vizier, so then I can play Niv Mizzet. Oh, they're turning that in. Let's do. An XX green creature. One one. I'm just gonna block the, the fatty. So if I cycle vizier, it just, it just doesn't do anything. Let's just play this as a land and cast her vizier. I'd rather have the guaranteed nimbus the next turn. I was trying to think of like what our tribe would be in this deck. So Brawl and uh, Vizier are both humans. I'm not going to block. So the reason that you don't block Land or Elves here is so you don't get crushed by Bone Crusher Giant, pun intended. Uh, but going back to my point, these are both humans, but Oracle and Brawl are both wizards. Vizier is a human cleric. I am so smart. All right. So let's tap this for blue. Untap. I've missed it. We're going to play this as a land. The reason why is so the next turn I can play this Lotus Field. And then we have double Lotus. By playing Lotus Field, we're also creating fuel for dig through time, which is quite nice. So our opponent has 10 damage. Yeah, I don't want to die to like a random burn. I'll block the jump. What do you have, opponent? Bummer! I actually had the removal spell. Okay, so sorry, Niv. Play Brawl. I think that might have been a mistake, actually. Did I just mess up? I think I might have. Yeah, I think I just went. Remove a land in their deck from the game. Let's just get a triome. There are no cards. So in order to attack, they have to turn this land into a 1-1. One -one. I can cycle the Triome by untapping a Lotus Field on their end. 
the way, which is part of the reason I got it. Got it. So I think I'm going to allow myself to be dead to Bone Crusher here. Yep, if you have a Bone Crusher, I'm dead. I'm just gonna. It's fine. If you draw three reps in a row, you have three reps in a row. So let's untap. So it does shut off Peer into the Abyss, by the way, and our Niv Mizzet's in the graveyard. So we're gonna have to do some work. Okay, so they'll get back Niv. Blue, red. Play Lotus Field. Let's get rid of the. Cast Dig. And now off this Dig, we really want to hit Hidden String. Always yield. On Hidden String. This we take four dig. I guess I could take a brawl too, so that way I can chump with the brawl instead of the nib. Do that. Okay. At one. You have it, you Sort of a weird play pattern. Why would they leave double stopping room up? Oh, looks like an out six or a grazer, and they've just conceded. So we're two zero to start off this Pioneer League. Pretty easy win so far. Uh, nothing against our opponent's deck or anything, but it's just like our games so far haven't been that difficult. And wow, is the main deck Niv look good. So we're 2 out. Well. Let's see if we can get the next three. Stick around. All right, match number three, and we are on the play. All right, so our opponent's uh, name is 666 in it twice, and they're using a gristle brand icon. What are the odds that they're on red black mid range? Like 110%, 112%, somewhere around there. Um, I don't know if I love this hand, but I really don't like discarding it or mulliganing against this deck. So I think I'm going to try this. It's probably a dummy move and I should just ship this hand. But uh, we have Consider Dig. I don't know. How bad could it possibly be? Am I right? Answer terrible. Ooh, maybe the mirror. This is not a very good hand for the mirror. <laughs> All right, let's consider do some work. That's a good start. Consider. Please don't be the mirror. I don't play Alpine Moon, and almost everyone else does. Yikes. I would like my own. Uh, so I have Wish and Scrying that are both hits here. Ding. Turn three wish. Guild. We have turn four. The problem is our hand is all land. Not feeling too good about this right now, despite being ahead with the Lotus Fuel combo. Like our opponent might have actual spells in their hand. They're just over here on land. I'm not gonna try to pretend I didn't have some good draws in there. Not loving it. And I was 112% uh, wrong on what they were playing. See what I did there. All right. So they have two mana floating. Shimmer. So they're on the emergent build. And I am a card short of casting Dig in the uh, next turn. So we can play this. We're, we'll have two mana floating, hypothetically, but I can't afford to play the Dig. I think I'm actually just gonna. I can always copy field down there. I don't need to do it main. Turns. Maybe they'll get afraid and not do. Something. Is this a strings for Fay? 
for Vizier, say. Yeah, I might be getting got here. Our opponent might be playing an Alzheimer. I have the Blast Zone, but it's time, right? Five? Or they just... Oh, they're going for it. So string. Yeah. This is what I was talking about, being behind. Uh, but they might have actual cards in their hand, and we don't. I'm feeling too good about this. Also, like I haven't faced uh the mirror in forever and I cut my Alpine Moon and just getting punched. Okay. And that should give them the correct colors to resolve uh ultimatum next turn and just or uh on the next untap, which is with the poor word pages and just all whammies. No good cards, all lands. Blue. Yep. The 10 mana. Do they just have the pier? I mean, it's a one of, but. I that they would use. I mean, maybe they already have the emergent. I don't know what they're doing here. Why they're floating the, the mana the way that they're doing it. But if they cast strings, they probably have it wrapped up. Give them the... And that's the game. Yep. Okay. So we'll concede. Too many lands for us. Alright, so... Dispute's gonna be fine here. Question is, what do we board out? I don't think we need Niv Mizzet. And then we could probably shave a consider or even the Blast Zone, but the Blast Zone can hit Moon. But I think that this is what I recommend. Friendly reminder if you're looking to keep track of your Storm and Mana, definitely go check out the Epic Storm mini token pack over at theepicstorm.com. You get 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless. 20 storm counters, a galvanic relay exile token, four treasure tokens, and 10 monk tokens, as well, ooh, as well as 10 Ave Progenitor Ooze for modern tokens, power toughness already built in, and then squirrels versus goblins. Go check that out. 128, uh, technically 64 double-sided tokens, but pretty good value, $13. Go check it out, theepicstorm.com slash shop. We're on the play. Unfortunately, this is a. I don't love this. All right. Thank them. Play this. So if we hit Lotus Field off this, it's better to put that into play than. Do not. Razor is a pretty important card in the mirror just because it accelerates you. Trying. Yep. All right, come on, Doc. Be good. I think I'm going to try to get a little bit greedy here and cycle Vizier. Follow the card. Whoops. Cycle. Draw. Maybe just get back. Consider. Go far back. Consider. Maybe they're holding up dispute. I mean, if you have dispute. All right, Lotus Field's good. Downside is we don't have a payoff right now. We just have this hidden strings. Grow Spiral, spicy. I think we want to draw like pour over pages on our turn. 
I've played Spyro in the past, but there's a lot of issues with like having Blast Zone in stage not casting it. Ideally, this deck would have Explore, but that's just not a card that's in. Play. I would love to have Explore. Come on, deck, be good to me. Bummer. Okay, hope to draw something good on our next turn. Maybe our opponent didn't assemble a uh, stage combo. So if they have another growth spiral. They could spiral into stage and copy right here. We're about a quarter of the way through our deck at the moment and haven't seen any of the real payoff, so maybe we get to untap. I'm not sure if we will, honestly, because uh, if they play a land and then cycle Vizier, they're at seven. Uh, but we're, I don't want to say we're due for an action spell, but we haven't found one yet, and that's the big thing. Uh, Hidden Strings is probably going to work here. So, and then Blue Blue off Coast. Field. Yeah, we're dead. And it's Ultimate Man. Yep. Alright, so we're going to be 2 and one Sort of a bummer to lose the mirror. Especially when I said that I think that this is the better version of the deck, and I still think that's true. But uh, I think that we had some below average draws uh, this round, which it happens. Nothing to be too upset about. It's worth noting that I actually do like Emergent Ultimatum uh, as a seven mana I win button. But that plan that Ultimatum is built around doesn't work with Wish because you can't cast cards off Wish with uh, Omniscient. Well, you can have pure shuffle. So now they can play omniscience. Usually you want to get uh, omniscience poor. I don't know why they selected peer, but they probably have a good reason. I just I assume that I'm dead here, but I guess we'll find out. Granted for so that's gonna be the match. Kind of a bummer. Let's see what our top card was. Draw. Valigad would have gotten Wish. So it's only six mana. That's not good enough for here. So maybe instead we get Consider or Vizier. I can want. Okay, two and one. The fourth round, and our opponent started off by revealing Kahira. We have a Lotus Field and land, so we're not shipping it. But I think that this means that they're probably on blue white. Uh, that is. So, one thing we're looking to do against blue white is get Niv Mizzet into play. We have one main, one side for Wish. So, let's try to get Niv into play. It's certainly an easy way of winning the one due to them not being able to. All the battle goods in the world. Cycles is a charm, okay. I've done a lot of that in my life. I played a lot of the Sphinx's Rev deck when it was. Oh, well, you Narset. Okay. There's Niv. So. I think I can put Niv into play next turn. Assuming that they let the strings resolve. Dovin's veto. Do I just make them veto the strings? So blue, blue. I go. Yeah, I can. If the strings resolves, I can play Niv. Come on, just let it resolve. Hey. Okay, so this taps for blue, red, if miss it. One way of re removing the set. All right. 
Jovan's veto that. And we've already seen Azorius Charm, so I will not be attacking with this Niv Mizzet. <laughs> no. No, that doesn't trigger my Niv. Sort of unfortunate for me right now. Yep. Uh, so I, I do get to Wish Fry on our turn. To kill the Narset. But they still have Jovan's Veto sitting in back. Wish. I wonder if I should just, like, kill the... I don't know. Sorry, this is just a really tough call. I think it's the nurse. I still know that they have Dome's Veto Dig. We are not drawing the Niv Mizzet on her. I guess I have Balagad, but they do have Dome's Veto, so this is going to eat Dome's Veto. Seven cards in hand for our opponent. I think I'm going to try to resolve Dig on there. I guess I'll do it now. I knew that was a risk. Special Fortress, and they get to uh, untap two lands with their Teferi as well. They're going to have three untapped. And now we play Niv again. It's going to get tucked by the Teferi or even just answered because they've had a lot of looks. Okay. So, like, they could have, like, Supreme Verdict here. Um, they could also just tuck it with Teferi. And then shuffle me with Field. They still have seven in. Part of me thinks that I like need to force them to kill me to eat down their clock. Got it. Draw. That's no, I can't. Just milling it. Um. get back good deal or typhoon for two there you go so one of the things about the control deck is that they just like don't have a lot of win conditions so i've realistically lost this game by now but they need to close out the game and due to the nature of magic online both players share 25 minutes so the idea is i'm going to sit here and make them kill me because it forces them if like for some reason we go to a game three they have to respect walking out and it forces them to play faster so conceding early actually hurts better and now we can draw a card because it's our turn Actually, I want that. Take this. Going on a nine. Lotus Field. See if uh, that we can eat a counter with this. And now, if this resolves, we can just get Blast Zone. I think I'm going to try to resolve Big here. Leaving one mana up so I don't lose to uh, Gunser. Got it, you jerk. Other dig through. I mean, they have to play a win condition at right? Is it again? Third time this game. Not even an issue for the opponent. They can just tuck it with the Teferi. 
or you know another supreme what was that or oh, shark type sure seven cards for the opponent so i don't think blast sounds like relevant to me I don't know what I'm going here. I think I'm not winning this game, so I should just like not burn my block. Another Dovin's view. Plus F. So they officially have their clock going. Four doesn't do anything here due to Narset, so no point in the Okay, and the clock is on. Five power now. Technically I could un F6 here and copy or add counters to my blast zone, but it just doesn't matter. Draw. No point in doing anything. Let's just F6. So we're going to take a hit here for 10 damage down to 3. And the big thing here is that our opponent's clock is going below 15 minutes, which means that they spent 10 minutes on the first game closing it out. So if game 2 is a long one and we win, game 3 they're not going to have a whole lot of time. Shocking that we did not win against the turn 3 Narset in game I mean, I did my best. I tried playing Nymphs it three times, and it was pretty good. It's just like it wasn't good enough against the Teferi as well. So we're gonna bring in the Fries and the Disputes. I think maybe even the Niv as well. And then we can board out these Grazers. We don't need those. Maybe board out like a Vizier. Speed isn't really the important thing. Matchup. I think I don't mind that. Okay, game number two. We're on the play because we got crushed in game number one. Uh, we just need to keep on trying to win, I guess. This hand seems fun. I like the blast zone. It does need to find Lotus, though. We have turn one consider. Although we could have played the Ketria Triome, I suppose, because even if we find like a Sylvan Scrying or something, we're not to be able to cast it on turn two. That gets me Lotus Avenger. So they have both Dovin's Veto and uh, Sensor up at the moment. So the reason to play Blast Zone here is that we can add a counter to it in case they do just have the Narset. Uh, unfortunate for us that they just have Field of Ruin. Got a counter. After the red sword. And I don't play any basics, so it's on me a little bit. I'll play that. So the reason that I need to play it now is that next turn I would come into play tapped, and next turn I want to go wish into Lotus. Let's add another counter to this blast zone. Try to resolve wish. We don't expect this to resolve. Blow out. Next turn we can bail get it back. Does bail get resolve? So they have six mana, which means that they can play Teferi and hold up Absorb, but that is not what our opponent's doing. Good draw, Bryant. Well done. You drew a card with text on it, and we are all very proud of you. That's a clock. 
So Field of Ruin answers our blast zone, which is you know, how we plan on dealing with Narset. A lot of mana. F. So now they'll have four mana untapped on their turn, which likely means double count. I wouldn't mind drawing one of my copies of Mystical Demon. Come on, use the Field of Ruin. Go down to one count. Yes. Okay, so our opponent's giving us a little bit of a window right here. So they can have like Dovin's Veto or like Dispute or something. But I think that they're most likely going to attempt to counter Wish. Yep. Right. So now let's resolve Peer. I'm sorry, Poor. We might be able to resolve Peer. Anything's possible. So seven mana, nine mana, plus four, 13 mana. That's enough to do it. And springs just have fish. So Pierce going to draw twenty one here, and it they didn't actually eat up that much clock that game. And I'm just going to resubmit this this configuration. Still what I think is optimal. They're on the play. Sure. Like we have a Sylvan Scrying, but we have to get pretty lucky for it to resolve, I think. Glacial Fortress tapped. Ooh, I was hoping for a tap land. Everyone here ready to lose the sensor? I hope so. Yep. I take the risk, in my opinion. Just like sitting there hoping to, like, next turn play it around Thespian State, like, it's too much. They found a land off their consider. Yep. Lucky. Lucky dog. Play poorly, get rewarded, right? That's the rule. No Narsa, okay. And I'm just going to copy now and play Consider to avoid uh, Field of Ruin. Sure. Consider. I think I'd like to keep. Five, so they have double Dovin's Veto up at the moment. Rest in. That's going to hurt my dig. So they have Absorb or Veto up. Cool. Okay. Draw. It gives me double physical dispute. I guess Dovin's Veto would crush me here, but I still think I'm supposed to try to cast four. I try to absorb it. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so we have a window. Did miss it, my old friend. Well, this bail gets uh isn't going to do anything useful, so let's get rid of that. Four again. We're looking for a hidden string. I think I actually want the Sanctum. Um, I think I want to keep the digs around. Have they consider mod hidden strings? I think we just need to pass now. 
and hope it's not supreme verdict but it's a fairy when we have mystical back up get out of here boom what a comeback after getting crushed game one played tight in the post four games and got it we're three and one let's see if we can finish this off strong get some extra prizes out of this Round five coming right up. The fifth and final round, we are on the play with Pioneer Lotus Combo. Let's get it. My takeaway of from this league is the main deck, niv has just been bananas. Huge fan. And Lurus, which probably means that they're on burn. I don't think I can finish up this. It's a little bit slow. It's like a turn five, but I'm just going to keep it. They could end up being on Mardu, and then this hand ends up being pretty good. Or Mardu. Uh, Rakdos, like, mid-range. But, like, whenever I play Pioneer Leagues, it's just, like, people running Lurus burn that just smush my face in. And here we are. All right. The Spear... Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, so next turn we can play Scrying for Blast Zone plus Lotus Field. This is probably like a post uh, combat Eidolon. Ooh, light up this. Okay. No land? Hey. Interesting. So, third shop, last zone. Play Grazer, put Field into play. So you're saying there's a chance. Lock. Honestly, I don't even care if they kill it because it feels big through time. And they have to waste an entire turn killing my grazer. Sure. So. Have this for green. Copy this. Go get an untapped land for next turn. Probably just like a our channel. All right, so we're going to start next turn on 8 mana. Strings brings us up to 12. That means that we can head in Strings Wish Peer and just easily win the game. Sure. We'll block. Get in Strings. Red mana. Play Wish. I guess I draw less cards if I end up casting that. Let's just peer. Like a Vizier. I don't see a Strings or a Brawl yet. There's Brawl. No hidden Strings. Wow. That's actually... Ooh, they conceded? Yeah. Okay. Um... So let's look at the top two with this consider to see if I would have hit a hidden strings. Draw would have been Vizier. I would have kept a Vizier and then draw off the Vizier into Grazer. And then I would cast another consider land and then I'd mill that into Lotus Field. Yeah, they done fucked up, but I'll take it. All right, bring in two copies of Anger and one Wilt. I've experienced the red decks recently bringing in uh, that red enchantment that I mentioned. So I want the Wilt in the main. And I think you could probably just take out like two copies of Bitter. Lurus has been revealed and I have Anger plus Lotus Fuel. We need a second land. I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to keep this. So this is actually a turn three anger as long as I hit land number two for this Lotus Field. 
because you can untap the field with anger. So we are looking to draw a land. Uh, looking a little hairy. Yep. Pyromancer. Uh, that give me a land. Land. Yep. Um. I know what to do. It's burl. Yep. Got thirteen. I knew the risk when I kept the hand. I just think the the potential is so high. You shouldn't mulligan it. Okay, so I can play Grazer into Lotus here. We're not out of it yet. It's just not looking good. Block. All right, so we're going to go to six and answer their board. If I cycle Vizier first, I can actually search up um, Age of this turn, too. Finger. I am at six. Could just be dead. Boros Charm Burn Spell. Play with Fire into Boros Charm. Yep. That'll do. Yeah, so we lost game number two. We just didn't hit the land on time. And that wouldn't have won next turn anyway. So we would have had to cast Pora on our turn and hit like Hidden Strings Vizier in order to really start going. But we're on the play for game number three. Let's just, you know, maybe not keep those hands. We'll see. And the nice thing about Wilt in this matchup, by the way, is it does also kill Eidolon. So. Even if they don't have that other enchantment, it still hits idle. Okay, we're on the play for the final game of this league. If I hit a, an untapped land, I can wish for Lotus. But uh, I have the Balagate. Yeah, this is just a key. We have blockers too. A little bit slow, but like this hand's fun. Fraser, Mountain, and Bomat Courier. Yep. Another dig. Not that good. I think I'm going to hang on to the Grazer. Like, I just don't feel the need to play it out yet. They could found dream to what? Add on. Okay, that hurt. We're gonna take two and play our lotus here. We also can't dig. We just don't have enough mana yet. So I got punished for not playing out the grazer on the one turn I had an opening. Because now if I play Grazer, it's going to deal me two as well. We're just looking to spike a Anger of the Gods off the top. If we drew Wish, I could Hidden Strings into Wish Anger, but that also deals us six damage. Hard. I could, in theory, burn the hidden strings into it. So, hypothetically, I end up with two extra mana and tap this. But yeah, I could dig into it. There's only two of them in the top. Let's just do it, I guess. Was my math off? I feel like it might have been. Uh, yeah, I'm a mana short, so I'd have to like also hit Vizier. I'm an idiot. No, never mind. I can count. 
So if I took Brawl and Hidden Strings, that doesn't do anything. I could Hidden Strings into Pour. Probably just like wasting here. But I, I don't feel like I have a lot of windows to win this game. Four cards. So I guess I can dig pass. Or Brawl dig pass and at least have a blocker. Okay. I think we've lost this one, but we'll keep playing. Four is good. And then. So the problem with the wish is that it's going to deal me a bunch of damage. This one has three cards in hand. We also have this bow mat that's about to have four cards under it. I guess in that entire, uh, I never saw it while digging through, unintended. Uh, Wilt would have been a good card to hit as well. I can't help but wonder if you're supposed to board in both Wilts against Red nowadays due to that additional. Let's just block. Save an uh, extra few damage. That's going to put me to five, which is pretty different than being at four, in my opinion. Because that means that we can cast two spells underneath the Eidolon. Oh. Don't get my hopes up, Dad. I guess I'm just dead to, like, is there a one mana burn spell? They could have Wizard's Lightning. Long pause. Four. And now I get hit by wizard. Oh, okay. Yikes, not good enough. I don't know what to do here. I guess I can just hope that they didn't draw any burn spells in that. Like, I don't know. So I could play Wish. It just doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think I'm dead. You bet I can't cast spells in exile with Wish. All right, we're just going to hope that our opponent does nothing. That's the game plan. Please have absolutely nothing in your five cards. Five lands. Let's see it. Step number one. Land four. For my courier. Okay. That's an interesting card to board in. That really shouldn't be in your deck, but that's... Uh, and I'm dead. Bummer. Uh, so that means that we went 3-2. This is admittedly a pretty tough matchup, but now I'm wondering if I should just be boarding in the Wilts all the time. Let's see what my draws would be. So, honestly, I don't think I'm going to change the list. Like, the next time I play this deck, it's probably just going to be the same 75. Uh, pretty happy about it. Mystical Dispute really overperformed in the blue matchup, but I don't know if there's room to play any more on the board. Uh, if you want to play more Disputes, you probably have to cut either a Fry or an Anger, and that's going to hurt. Um, Consider was fine this league. We, we really didn't get to showcase it that much, but it was just fine all around. Niv Mizzet really overperformed, and we didn't really get to use the Oracle that much, but n wow, Niv Mizzet. Uh, that's what I took away from this league. Let me know what you think. Maybe uh, you think the opposite. Maybe you thought the entire thing stunk. I don't know. But thank you for watching. Have a great day and keep. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to the slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring.
don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.